I'm Dr. Martin Roach Sr. I've been in emergency medicine and urgent care for some 45 years. Over the years, I've seen several cases of people coming into the emergency room, what we call drug mules, smuggling cocaine primarily, either through ingestions of pellets or latex condoms in their stomach or in their rectum, and females even in their vaginas. My experience with drug mules is that they tend to be male and predominantly male. Females have become more frequently used lately, but in the early days, it was unusual to find a woman to be a, a mule. If you're carrying as a mule packets of cocaine and one ruptures, the acute powder of cocaine is rapidly absorbed. It creates a disaster in your stomach. The first thing they usually feel is muscle contraction pain, and that's because of the vasoconstrictive effect of cocaine. And then their muscles start to tighten, so they start having twitches and irregular muscle movements. Then they complain of chest pain because now the heart's starting to be affected. You can remember the movie Pulp Fiction that showed you the girl having the acute cardiac arrest when she had overdosed. It's pretty actually characteristic of what happens to people like that. Once the cocaine gets out of the stomach and is absorbed into the bloodstream and then it's circulating through your body, it goes to your brain. Not only does it constrict blood flow to the brain, but it's actually toxic to the brain itself. So you see people hallucinating, having seizures, getting restless, confused, and become psychotic. So they pretty much lose control of their mental capacity and cognitive ability. Almost all the times when the mules have to have surgery because of the acute crisis, they generally go right to the operating room and have a thing called a gastrotomy. So what has to happen is they only usually have to open up the stomach because that's where the gastric acid is and that's where the pellets are generally at. These days they do a CT scan so they'll know where the pellets are, how many of them. They open up your stomach and remove all of the pellets and then irrigate the stomach and flush it out. The ones that are swallowed and are in the stomach are the ones that are the biggest trouble for the patients because if the cocaine is released from their pellets, the acidity of the gastric acid ruptures the latex and then the drug gets absorbed and so they try to put it into two gloves or into two condoms and so forth but everything depends upon your gastric secretion and the pH and what will eat through the plastic, but it's the stomach is the culprit and the acid in the stomach. So stomach is the worst way that they can bring it in. If they put it through their rectum, they don't have as much problem because there's not much acidity in the rectum and it's just a question of storage and holding it long enough to get it to the place they want to take it. If you have a ruptured pellet of cocaine in your stomach, you need to be close to a hospital and get there right away, otherwise you are probably going to die. And most of the people who it happens to if you speak with them, they know there's a crisis going on in their body. Because most people know their bodies. If your arm is getting squeezed, you know, and the blood supply is getting cut off, you have cocaine being absorbed, you know your body's going through a, a major problem and you got to do something. And I think anybody who's considering it should just forget about it because there's got to be a better way to make a living, even no matter how desperate you are. Have you ever heard of someone smuggling coke to pay off student loans? No, I never heard of that. <laughs>